A clearer picture coming out of the pandemic. Between 2020 and 2021, there was a 24% loss in food service um, employers. And so uh, this and a 38% loss in uh 34% loss in personal care and services. While there's hope for the tourism industry to bounce back, the grim reality of the remnants of the ongoing pandemic settles in. Even if tourists come, where will they go? That was one question at the center of the Governor's Council of Economic Advisors presentation at the NMI legislature Tuesday. How quickly they can come back from closure into operation is, is a concern in our ability to fully maximize our recovery. The council is two years into its 10-year proposal, which ranges from facelifts to recommended legislation. They've been bringing their business slides around the island, making their pitch to local stakeholders. And they're also pointing out the problem. And so we're also looking at the idea of legitimizing our tour operators in the Commonwealth. We're looking at the idea of accreditation or some form or fashion of professional licensing. But that we also saw, and mind you, I'll put my disclaimer out there. Yes, we operate a tour company in the Commonwealth called Century Travel, or Century Tours, I'm sorry. But we're looking at this from a greater perspective. They say they've seen rogue operators who leave the island with debt and left the bag hanging. Ultimately, Sablon says the honest businesses pay the consequences. Another consequence comes from Airbnbs and guest houses in the NMI. What we did see is a degradation of our tax base um, by virtue of Airbnbs and guest houses not necessarily paying their fair share. He's hopeful that new legislation can level the playing field for the estimated 1,200 Airbnbs and guest houses they know of in the Commonwealth. And that's the kind of problem child, if you will. They were the people that were, yes, complementing the overall uh, marketplace. We need, we needed the numbers in order to generate the total headcount that came within the Commonwealth um, in recent years. Officials continue to keep their eyes on those numbers as federal funding nears its expiration date. Tomas Manglotnya for KOM News.